felt like the limb, but then it started swimming off and destroyed my rage mask. <laughs> So we're here on the Chickahominy. It's supposed to be 66 degrees today, but it started off freezing at like 32 degrees. And I wanted to come into the creek. I've been out here the past two times, haven't got a bite from fish in the main river, just running my boat to get the lower unit broken in. And I finally decided to come back in here. And I've already had three bites, caught one, lost one. Never had the other one on, I don't think, but Basically, all I'm doing is taking a little Texas rigged uh, Rage Menace. I'm just flipping around these laydowns. I came back in a creek, and the shallow side's over here, and this is the deeper stretch right here. And I'm just going down the bank fishing slow. As you can see, I'm fishing very slow. But that's three bites now in 15 minutes, so not bad. Water temp's 43 degrees, so it's cold. That's without a doubt. So, but see if we can't get some more and. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll get a big one. I think I'll get a big one today. So, stay tuned. same size he's been caught before he's got a tear right there man he is he is cold that fish is cold but all right so you could see how slow I was working that bait I mean I wasn't even moving it I was kind of just dobbing my rod dabbing my rod I don't know how to say it but I wasn't twitching it I was just on slack line and then I just felt a little tick. And like I said earlier, when in doubt, just set the hook. <laughs> Not a big one, but same thing again. I came and I idled around and came down to another stretch of bank just like that. And that fish was sitting down in some, I don't know, there's some brush or some knuckles down there from the uh, cypress tree. And he was sitting right there. Again, I'm just throwing a, I don't know, I think that's like a, that might, might not even be a quarter, that's not even a quarter ounce weight right there bullet weight tungsten and that's just a green pumpkin rage menace so just fishing it really slow around deep bends and it's working out I got more areas like this I can run but I mean what good does that do me run stuff where I know I can catch fish the same stuff I always run I'm always trying to learn so I'm always trying to fish different stuff I don't try to fish the same stuff I fish every time I come here I'm always fishing new stuff I never occasionally I'll run and check some of my good stuff just to catch a bite but then after that I'm on the hunt to figure out something new and something different but all I was 
was doing with my rod is just on slack line and the second I start feeling the weight of the bait I drop the rod tip back down I'm not sitting here popping it I'm just kind of just dabbing it just so it just lifts and then when I feel some structure some wood I really work it and let it soak I, let, I try to keep it in that spot as long as I can and that's when I've gotten both my bites Number three for the day. Just pitched up into a tree right there, right in between two two cedar trees, cypress trees, and uh, he bit it. Probably two feet deep. Okay, guys. So we just finished up right here on the Chickahominy, and we got a couple fish catches. That was good. Um, last two times I was out here, I didn't even get a bite. I've been out here running the motor, breaking in a little unit, doing some fishing, but today I focus more on fishing and just trying to see if I can get a bite, try to figure out this, you know, wintertime bass fishing here on the Chick. But, uh, I mean, they're getting into pre-spawn. It's 66 degrees today, and I, was, I ended up running to the back of a creek, and that's where I got most of my bites. I was fishing those channel swing banks with the deep, steeper banks with, you know, lay down and wood and just any type of structure on it and that seemed to be where I was getting most of my bites caught a couple fish lost a couple fish I did all that same stuff too on the main river first thing in the morning and I never got a bite but after I did that and caught them back in there you know I came back out to the main fished a flat with some cypress trees and I ended up catching another one in about maybe a foot of water but the reason I did that was because, you know, I this is my home water. I have a lot of areas where I know that I could go potentially get bit or catch some fish. But most of the time when I'm out here, I'm always just trying to improve on, you know, my skills, my techniques, my decision making. And I'm always just trying to learn new things. You know, I can't keep fishing the same places over and over and over throwing the same thing and expect to get any better. I always have to, I always am looking for a way to grow as an angler and be able to basically take what I learned and go around the country to multiple different bodies of water and catch fish. And one way to do that, again, is like I said, you know, I try off the wall things. Like I went back to a creek, caught them there. I could have ran multiple areas like that because I know multiple areas like that around here. But instead of doing that, I went to try to see, all right, well, what next? What else can I do? What's another way I can go about trying to catch some fish? And so that's what I did. So I'm always running around fishing different stuff or fishing same stuff, just different ways, different time. I mean, this is a tidal fishery. So I fish things at high tide and low tide. So I got incoming, outgoing. It's a flood tide today. So I'm trying different things, just trying to always learn. And that is one way that helps me grow as an angler. And it'll definitely help you grow as an angler. So next time you guys are out on your home body of water instead of just fishing the same stuff in the same places try to see what else is around try to figure out different ways to catch the bass and that way it will help you when you go to other bodies of water how to break them down because you will know when you see things you can say oh you know I, i've caught them doing this on similar stuff like this so let me look for that on this body of water that i'm at now so Thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And again, you know, next time, hopefully we can get some more fish catches. That's what I'm really out here to do, but it's tough this time of year. Um, but basically, give it a couple more weeks. It's more warming up. I mean, the water temp here is 43.6 degrees. Really cold. The fish I was catching were really cold. If you watch some of the fish catches, I was fishing painfully slow. Not the way I like to fish, but you got to be able to adjust to be able to catch fish. Sometimes you have to do things you don't want to do. But again, go ahead, hit that like button, and stay tuned. We'll get some more fish catches and some more, you know, catch to land videos with some more explanation on what I'm doing and how I'm going about doing it. Anything I can help you guys to catch more fish, the more I help you guys, the more it helps me because the best way to, you know, the best way to learn something is to teach it. So again, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.